Hello, and welcome to Vidhammer, the battle report resource for Warhammer Fantasy. In this video, we'll be covering a second round matchup at the Phoenix Games Tournament in Orlando in February of 2012. This is a 2500 point blood and glory engagement between the Demons of Chaos and the Skaven armies using the 8th edition rules. Deployment and setup are as per the Warhammer rules, with the deployment zones being 9 inches away from the center line and 9 inches away from the short edges of the table. There are no additional rules in place, but there are 5 additional battle points awarded for making your opponent's army reach its breakpoint, plus 3 additional points for having one of your units in a piece of forest terrain and 2 points for having one on a hill at the end of the game. All forests are mysterious, and all other terrain types are considered to be a normal terrain of that type. For spell generation, the Skaven have a Plague Priest that gets Pestilent Breath, a Warlock Engineer that gets Warp Lightning, and a Grey Seer that ends up with Blessed with Filth, Wither, Plague, and the Dreaded Thirteenth. The Demons have Kairos Fate Weaver, who knows all the Zinch spells and chooses additional spells instead of rolling for them. The Demons win the placement roll and elect to have the Skaven set up first. They start with a unit of 25 slaves that goes just off the lower edge of the table. The Demons set up a unit of 38 blood letters in the center of their battle line as the Skaven place another unit of 20 slaves on the far right of their battle line. 35 more blood letters come down on the Demons hill as the Skaven put 30 clan rats just below the forest. The demons put down 35 plague bearers on the left side of their battle line as the Skaven bring out a hell pit abomination on their hill. Six flamers of Zeech make up the final unit for the demons as 30 more clan rats come on the board for the Skaven. The demons place their characters consisting of a BSB and Skull Taker that go in their central unit of blood letters with Kairos sitting just behind. The Skaven place their remaining units of 35 Plague Monks pushing a Plague Furnace and 30 Clan Rats with a Warp Fire Thrower team that go in the center of the battle line, as well as a Doom Wheel that goes above the forest. For characters, the Plague Priest sits on the Plague Furnace, the Grey Seer goes with the lower Clan Rats, a Warlord riding a Rat Ogre Bonebreaker goes with the centermost Clan Rats along with a BSB and the Warlock Engineer goes with the Clan Rats just below the forest. After placement, the Skaven place two units of Gutter Runners with slings and poisoned attacks behind the flanks of the Demon's battle line. The Demons win the starting roll and start their turn with the Skaven activating their Storm Banner as they do. The Demons step their Flamers three inches to the right as their only movement. Winds of Fate and Channeling gives the demons 10 power dice against 7 dispel dice. They use 2 dice to cast Boon of Zinch and get back 3 power dice. Next they use 4 dice to cast Throne of Vines which gives protection from miscasts and augments future life spells. With 6 dice they attempt Flesh to Stone on their central blood letters but the Skaven use all of their dice to dispel it. With their final die, the demons attempt Glean Magic, but they roll a 2, so the spell fails, ending the phase. In the shooting phase, the Flamers hit the lower off-screen Gutter Runners for 2 wounds who pass their Panic Check. The Storm Banner ends at the start of the Skaven turn as the Abomination aims at the Flamers and the Doom Wheel heads toward the Plague Bears. The upper Gutter Runners move towards Kairos as the Warp Fire offers himself up for a charge. In the magic phase, the Skaven get 11 power dice against 5 dispel dice. The Warlock Engineer uses 2 dice to cast Warp Lightning at Kairos for 2 wounds, but both get saved. The Grey Seer used 3 dice to attempt Plague, but the spell fails. For shooting, the Doom Wheel tests its leadership to keep from shooting the slaves. The upper gutter runners shoot for the central blood letters, but don't get any wounds. Finally, the Warlock Engineer shoots its Doom Rocket at the Central Bloodletters and gets 13 wounds.
The demons start the second turn, charging the Doom Wheel with their Plague Bearers and the Abomination with their rightmost Blood Letters. The central Blood Letters move up as Kairos flies south for the winner. Winds of Magic gives the demon seven Power Dice against five Dispel Dice. The Skaven player uses two dice to dispel the Throne of Vines effect before spells are attempted. The demons use two dice to attempt Boon of Zinch, but it gets dispelled with the Skaven's remaining dice. They use two dice to recast Throne of Vines and two more to attempt Flesh to Stone, but it gets dispelled with the scroll. With their last die, they cast Glean Magic and steal the dreaded 13th, which they cast on the Plague Monks, taking out 16 models. The Flamers finish off the lower unit of Gutter Runners as the Demon's only shooting. In the lower close combat, the Blood Letters hit the Abomination for 4 wounds, who does 5 wounds in return. The Demons win the combat, but the Abomination passes its leadership test. In the upper combat, the Doom Wheel grinds the Plague Bearers, but doesn't wound, and the normal attacks get 4 hits, but no wounds. The Plague Bearers hit back for two wounds and win the combat, with the Doom Wheel fleeing through the Slaves and off of the board. The Slaves fail their panic test and run off the board as well. For the Skaven turn, they charge both the Blood Letter units with their Clan Rats and Plague Monks as the Lower Slaves move up to the Flamers, and the Gutter Runners make another move towards Kairos. Winds of Fate gives the Skaven 10 Power Dice against 6 Dispel Dice. They attempt Warp Lightning with 2 Dice, but it gets Dispelled. Next, they use 3 Dice to cast Blessed with Filth on the Central Clan Rats. They then cast Wither on the lower blood letters and get Irresistible Force, taking six casualties and a wound on the Grey Seer from the Backlash. They lose their remaining power dice and take a panic check that they pass. In the shooting phase, the Warpfire Thrower shoots for Kairos, which should not have been targetable as he was behind a unit that was engaged in combat. The demons lose a single blood letter to the fire to end the phase. In the lower close combat, the Skaven Warlord does a single wound while the BSB misses. The Clan Rats hit the Blood Letters for a single wound and the Hell Pit takes out two more. The Blood Letters hit the Warlord for a single wound and finish off the Hell Pit Abomination before taking two more wounds from the Rat Ogre. The Demons lose the combat and another ten models to instability. In the upper combat, the Plague Furnace takes out four models and impact hits, and the Banner of the Under Empire does three wounds, but they all get saved. No wounds are caused by the Plague Furnaces and Shrouded by Fog effect, and the Plague Monk's unit champion accepts Skulltaker's challenge and gets cut down with a killing blow. The Demon's BSB hits the Plague Priest for a single wound who does two wounds in return. The rest of the Blood Letters hit the Monks for seven wounds, who do five unsaved wounds in return. Finally, the Wrecker attack takes out five Blood Letters, who lose the combat and the rest of their rank and file models in combat resolution. The Demons make a swift reform with their Plague Bearers and move them back towards the battle, and Kairos steps behind the Flamers. In the Magic phase, the Demons end up with five Power Dice against five Dispel Dice. As their only spell, they use five dice to cast Flesh to Stone on the remaining Blood Letter unit, raising their toughness to a six due to the Throne of Vines effect. For shooting, the Flamers hit the Lower Slaves for ten wounds, who pass their panic check, being in range of the General's inspiring presence. In the upper close combat, a rules discrepancy saw to treating the two remaining demon characters as two separate units. This allowed the Skaven player to attack both characters with the full effect from the Plague Furnaces Enshrouded by Fog effect and the Banner of the Under Empire. The Banner does two wounds to the BSB, who saves both, and Skulltaker takes two wounds and saves both as well. Then the BSB takes five toughness tests and takes a single wound, as Skulltaker saves his only wound. Skulltaker issues a challenge and kills off the Plague Priest. The BSB hits for three wounds and takes one in return, but it gets saved. 
The plague monks lose the combat, but are unbreakable thanks to the plague furnace. In the lower combat, the warlord and the BSB both hit for a single wound. The demons kill off the BSB and take another casualty from the rat ogre. They lose the combat and two more blood letters in combat resolution. The Skaven player charges the flamers with his slaves, which don't get to stand and shoot due to the close proximity of the slaves. The warp fire thrower and gutter runners keep moving in on Kairos as the clan rats step up. Winds of Magic sees the Skaven with six power dice against five dispel dice. They use three dice to cast Wither on the blood letters again and again they get irresistible force. The Grey Seer and Warlock Engineer both take a wound in the backlash and the rest of the power dice are lost. The Skaven elect not to shoot and move into the combat phase. In the lower combat, the Warlord hits but doesn't wound and the remaining clan rats fail to wound as well. The blood letters cause a single wound and the Rat Ogre gets one as well. The Bloodletters lose the combat and take one more wound from instability. In the upper combat, one Plague Monk dies in the fog. Skulltaker takes out two and the BSB takes out one more before the Plague Monks swing but are unable to wound. The Wrecker attack takes out the BSB and the demons win the combat but the Plague Monks remain unbreakable. In the Slave Flamer combat, the Slaves fail their fear check but are still able to deal a single wound before taking six in return. The Slave unit explodes but doesn't cause any wounds. On the Demon's turn, the Skaven Warlord uses a Potion of Strength to gain plus three strength for this round. Kairos moves forward out of the Clan Rat's charge range. For Magic, the Demons end up with three Power Dice against two Dispel Dice. They use two dice to cast Boon of Zinch to get three dice back. The Skaven player uses his dice to dispel the Throne of Vines effect. The demons then use two dice to cast Throne of Vines and two more to recast Flesh to Stone on the Bloodletters. In the shooting phase, the Flamers hit the lower clan rats and take out four models. Close combat sees Skulltaker shrugging off wounds from the Under Empire banner but dying from three wounds from the Fog's toughness tests. The lower combat takes out two Bloodletters and one Clan Rat. The central Clan Rats are able to charge the rear of the Bloodletters. In the Magic phase, the Grey Seer is able to get a final Wither off with irresistible force on the Bloodletters, with both the Grey Seer and Warlock Engineer dying from the Backlash. With the third Wither effect on the Bloodletters, the unit was destined to perish at the start of the next turn, and the demons would reach their breakpoint. Thanks for watching this battle report. Be sure and check back for more videos each week. Do us a favor and subscribe, and as always, be sure and send us a message if you have any tactics or matchups that you'd like to see. Till next time for the Vidhammer crew, keep fighting!